Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been uh, nearly over a year, I think, since my last video. Um, you know, life has been very uh, busy, as usual. Um, but yeah, I'm back on the channel now, and I want to show you what I've been up to, what my plans are, and um, yeah, just uh, just go from there, really. So as you can see in front of you is my, my army of... Um, Skulls of Ultramar, which I built over a, a few years. Um, I'll just uh, run down for anyone who hasn't seen any of my older videos. So you've got some Dreadnoughts, Assault Marines, uh, Aggressors, Inceptors, uh, Tall Garrod on there, painted up. Uh, that's Sergeant Joe Van, or Johan, which I haven't got around to painting yet. Um, here's like all my vehicles, really. Which, uh, yeah, needs a bit of glue on that. <laughs> but yeah, um, quite pleased with the vehicles, really like those. And at the top, um, this is more like the Phobos force of the army. Um, that's why I've painted them black with the blue shoulder pauldrons. Uh, one of my most proud miniatures is this chaplain here. Really like him. Really like how he turned out. And this guy here as well is um, converted using uh, some metal wings and a uh, jump pack uh, and a scythe from a Death Guard miniature. Uh, yeah, there's a Blade Gun veteran. Um, standard bearer, whatever you called him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that really. That's um, you know, most of you guys have seen a lot of that from my previous videos. And my last video was on um, some Imperial Guard units um, in the Praetorian uh, scheme. Uh, well, unfortunately, I've actually stopped working on that army now since the new release of the Imperial Guard. Um, and I will be doing something new with them a lot further down the line. But my current project um, is the World Eaters. And I'm going to spin over to them right now. So, as you can see, this is what I've been working on. Which are some Chaos World Eater Terminators. Um, this guy here, Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor. I haven't quite finished yet, but he's he's near. He's nearly done, but really happy how they've turned out. Oh, and some of the scenery I've painted up as well. But yeah, um, I experimented with these quite a bit, uh, using varnishes and blood effects. And I think it's come out quite well. Um, yeah, quite happy with them. And I'm really feeling the, the World Eater pre-heresy uh, colour scheme. And I decided to get one of my favourite models, um, which is the Leviathan Dreadnought. And uh, I've always wanted this model, but I didn't want it in resin because, you know, it's heavy, it's difficult to work with. And, and expensive, but since I released it in plastic form, I thought now's my time to get it. And um, yeah, decided to do it in the Heresy, uh, sorry, the World Eater scheme again. Um, it's not quite finished. I can move him about because I haven't finished the base. But uh, yeah, again, I've experimented with this by doing kind of like some heat burn on the guns, which I think came out okay and some weathering on the armour, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with, yeah. It could do with a bit more like chipping, uh, armour chipping, uh, which I haven't done either, so I need to experiment with that. But uh, yeah, very happy with how his head turned out there. So uh, feeling inspired by that, um, my actual current project is uh, the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness box set. 
and I've got all the bells and whistles to go with that. Um, and I I can't wait to like build and paint and show that off to you guys, but it's going to take a while because there's, you know, over 50 miniatures in that box. But I promise you um, it'll be well worth the wait. Now, everybody has a pile of shame. And I went through a moment of madness and um, built up a very large force of Necron warriors, of, well, Necrons in general. And more well, up there as well. Uh, and unfortunately, I got to this stage and I've lost interest in them, which is really sad, but it does happen. I think I extended my reach too much, um, built too much too quickly and just became overwhelmed by it. So this is a project for another time when I'm feeling them again. But at the moment, I'm definitely not. Um, so, yeah, very disappointed about that. So. On the Age of Darkness box set, which I've got, I'm taking one unit at a time, taking my time with it, so I don't get overwhelmed and, um, you know, lose interest. So that's my advice to uh, anyone who's starting to get into Warhammer, to so just take it bit by bit until you're confident at building large armies at rapid succession. And uh, I'll show off my workstation at the moment. Um, Actually, no, I won't, because it's a right mess. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Sorry it's been a long time. And thank you for everyone who's uh, subscribed and watched my videos. I know you may be feeling disappointed that I'm not um, continuing with the Praetorian Guard army. Um, but, you know, uh, I've just... I, my interests have changed, and I've really fallen in love with the World Eater army and the Horus Heresy in general. Um, was a major draw to me getting into the hobby to start with when I was about six or seven years old. And now that they've, you know, released this Age of Darkness box set, it's the perfect time for me to uh, live out my childhood um, dreams, I guess, if you like. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.